Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you are running an NVIDIA GPU and are currently experiencing a blank screen, or hang on boot and are using a DP 1.3 or 1.4 monitor, then just a quick video to give you a heads up that NVIDIA has recently rolled out a firmware update to address these issues. Now basically they describe the issue as this. NVIDIA says, without the actual firmware update, systems that are connected to a DisplayPort 1.3 or 1.4 monitor could experience blank screens on boot until the OS loads or could experience a hang on boot. So those are the actual issues described by NVIDIA. Now what NVIDIA have done is they have rolled out a NVIDIA firmware updater which can be downloaded from this website and I'll leave a link to this web page down below. And this was released on the 26th of June, so that was late last month. You click on the download now link and that will download the actual firmware update tool to your local drive in your download location. And the tool is approximately 13 or 14 megabytes in size. And it's a standalone tool, so it doesn't have to be installed onto your system. You just double click on the tool and that will launch the NVIDIA DisplayPort firmware updater. Now NVIDIA says that the firmware updater will detect whether the firmware update is needed and if needed will give you the option to update obviously to and with that latest firmware update to resolve the blank screen or hang on boot issues if you are using um, a DisplayPort 1.3 or 1.4 uh, monitor. Now I can't actually run the tool because I am not using a NVIDIA GPU on this device but nonetheless NVIDIA does say that you can try one of the following workarounds in order to run the tool because obviously if you are experiencing a blank screen or hang on boot, um, you will need to try a couple of workarounds to actually get access to this tool. So the first is they say you can try boot using DVR or HDMI. Secondly, you can boot using a different monitor or you can change the boot mode from UEFI to legacy or legacy to UEFI. And finally, they say you can boot using an alternate graphics source, either secondary or, or an integrated graphics card. So they give you four different things you can try um, as workarounds in order to run this actual tool. And if we just head back to their website, which as mentioned, I'll leave down below. If you are a little bit uh, confused about which products um, this is actually affecting, then these are the list of supported products which you can check out on this website as mentioned which will be in the description. So just wanted to give you that heads up um, because I do know a lot of you do um, use NVIDIA GPUs. So if you were experiencing and are experiencing that blank screen or hang on boot, then download the tool, um, check if it um, does give you that firmware update and that may, according to NVIDIA, resolve those issues. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.